Okay. Once more, nakusha kusha una kabo na mini mti mujo mfulo na mea the host for the web body better pass gently program. Where they come to na from we own salon community, people who don't learn but medical um, 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 issues them, medical practices, various medical um, 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 expertise na in they get and they bring this program come to na. Nobody in Arsenal, they get paid. Everybody do one because we want to for help the people then as alone. Okay. This program, not so people normal from Manchester because at the very beginning, I'm in Manchester no at the moment we get playing from around the world where they contribute. They all see Alineans, they all they for help we come to you. We can also once in a while get people that we come up from other nationalities where they come for can help for just make sure see people then get the best advice um, as far as medical stuff is concerned. However, do I mean we're not going to give individual advice. Okay, because not to say we don't want to give you, and because we don't know which one on our medical history. So for law make a certain judgment, a certain, you know, give you concrete advice, it means you will get get that holistic understanding. So in that way, we know they give medical advice now. So you need to be talking about general advice tomorrow. We need to people them on waiting and for look for when for seek doctor's advice, you know, and waiting for us for we go see your doctor, how for take medicine in then kind of thing. Now we talk about okay. And today we're talk about abdominal pain when I belly at. We in a Dr. MSI Kamara na he did give you that presentation the today. Dr. Kamara is a senior emergency medicine consultant na in Manchester, and he don't practice over 30 years. Um, very, very experienced, not to just emergency medicine, he very, very vastly experienced. So now we have the amount of But I will never let up boys if we need to reach. Okay. So look up, they say no more. Um, these are a group of uh, professionals and philanthropists where they volunteer and time and resource expertise for better with, with community. So nobody now they get paid. So let nobody not sit down and say, I don't have money that they hold. So I know how some of the people like can talk something about, we know they get paid. But also with the appeal, if anybody gets the, the, the influence for the show reach in the salon, do you have with the big, we know they charge anybody. If any radio program, one air, um, any TV program, one air, um, I just make we know. We go make sure so we give them to a free of charge, all the way to one of the people and benefit from this. Okay. Okay. I'll go back slightly. So, yeah, if anybody gets suggestion and comment or anything, you can reach me now. This number on WhatsApp, or you can, if you don't miss any of the program, you can go to YouTube. Unfortunately, yes, the last two programs they are not put them on YouTube. If I will find time um, and try for squeeze some time in the business schedule and try for put them on Facebook um, and then YouTube. So if you go on YouTube, you search for this, you will find the recorded programs. The one there. For the people that will go ask questions at the end, because during the um, presentation session, we don't say already people are not going to ask questions. But I will if you say, well, we're not going to ask questions, we left enough time at the end for let people and go able to ask questions. So do you have, at the end, if you want to ask questions, if you look at this screen, now you're going to see that your phone or your, or your tablet. If you look, you get this button now. Yeah? So what you do, if you press now, yeah, so you can go now for chat, for ask any question. If you want to type on, just look at you can type on WhatsApp. But also, if you want ACU and for ask questions, some of you will really shame you want to know camera on and ask questions. If you want to do that, I'll you do one. If you press Naya, this thing will come up. If you press Naya, who I see so Naya, I can do ACU and up. If you not have to do that, they still just ACU and up physically. If I see you and up, I will come to you and take your question. So now, I will hand it over to Dr. Kama, where we can take on the session today. The cabinet is safe. Now, get any suggestion, feedbacks, um, um, questions. Please send them to email or contact me on WhatsApp. Well, thank you very much, and we look forward to a very good session from Dr. Kamara today. Thank you. Dr. Kamara, when you get it, sir. All right. Thank you, Leonardo. Thank you, thank you, all, and join me. Uh, the last time we talked about pain, uh, the aid, the that. Uh, well, this one's a big, big topic, but I think, say, uh, could people learn. They suffer with this thing, and I think it's important for let me talk about that. So today we will look at belly art, um, how we they present the symptom, them waiting go cause them, waiting the doctor we go see and which he go do for try for get the diagnosis for no who's one with a bad belly art, who's one with a you know minor belly art, who's one with a middle one or moderate one, you know, and of course we go touch a bit on the treatment and then how for preventer. And if we get time in the end, maybe we will look at the video where it look very interesting. We will give you advice. I should say, all men agree with me. Say, I don't think say anybody in the audience we not don't get belly art. If uh, we sister them, we mama them, auntie them, definitely they own then can get that on a normal basis. Where the uh, month they begin or the month they end, depending on the side of the day. Picking them all, 
you know, mama demo, papa demo, young one, old one, all man can get Belead. But as I say, Belead can sort himself out. And Belead can actually cause you a lot of problems and can be very serious. So I make you fine for make you know, waiting for look for, for tell you, say this Belead will get to, hmm, you try and go, you look like say, I get to do something about her because which I did see now, so now. So I don't do this, I don't do this, you know, walk. Well, now I need for see doctor, I need for come hospital. So, Waiting na belly at now belly at na pain way you they feel as much as them anybody amongst you they feel between your chest. So if you look at this this drawing now you go see say the eight day the neck day and then the next one na the na the chest. So the chest in bottom beat now in this. If you draw this line down like that, and the other one at the left hand you do on that way. So right and left, and then you go down na the side them. You come down na the groin. And go to the other side and get na ya na the na the right hand. You know, say so you don't get six sides of this um, figure, where they can call rhomboid or something. So now that na in the belly. So anything between the chest na ya to the groin, get boku boku organ them. Now each one pan the organ they can cause you. Anyway, they between all right. Anything way they between the chest naya and the groin naya can definitely cause belly art and boku boku and then they inside it. And again, you can get pain from outside naya, you know, the chest, you know, and of course down below that you call man and woman, or even from the leg them you can get problem with that. So, as we know, boku people they get uh, belly art at some point in their life, definitely. Uh, but man, they call them stomach aches, man, they call them belly ache. Uh, but definitely, as I say, they between the ribs, them and the groin, you know, the pelvis. You know, it can be mild, it can be moderate, it can be really severe. You know, uh, although for feel belly art or belly pain, not to be normal, but it not necessarily means say it's serious because most of the time it can resolve for itself, it can actually sort itself out. You know. However, if I follow you notice know, some pain, then they will definitely they tell you say problem, they were really heavy. Therefore, we need for sick, you know, advice and important for recognize them sign then they so that you go no say I don't do this, I don't do this, you know, walk, and then definitely enough for do something about that. So if you look at the uh belly art, you can know, say uh seven to eight percent of people and where they come at the AE to win a yeah, they can come with belly problem, you know. Uh, most of the time, there are two main problems that nine can cause belly heart. The one way in uh, that renal colic, that kidney stone, so mango don't hear about them, the kidney colic stone, that did it about 31%. And the one way in, uh, the non specific one, the one way you know able for put pinpoint within cause them, is 31.4%. So you can see, say, you know, the, the majority of the people where they come, now because of them, two things that they. The people already they come, the mean age, so Monday up to 65, then we come 18, 90. But most of the time, the average, you know, now 49 year old, and then can come, you know. Uh, woman, they mainly, when they come to we, then can present with this non specific abdominal pain, you know. In the 65 year old, them, we get biliary colic. That now, where you eat something, we get fat panel. Like you eat uh, sausage, mash, and bangers, you know, with gravy. You know, and then the stone thing that the bile duct, that the gallbladder, when they stop the bile for go go up for the digestion, it can cause that. It can, it can cause that pain there. So most of the time we can present with that kind of pain there, and the one that we get pain at the left hand side, we know because the that large bowel, as they call them, the colon, you know, it can get some bubble, some pocket panam, when they grow older, and if then they get inflamed, then it can cause that. We then call diverticulitis. So. Most of the 65 year old, old, old them and above, they then can carry that problem. Day. Appendix, now more than the younger patient them, you know, so the appendix gets inflamed, most of them are younger them and more the woman them than the man them. We know colic as we don't say 34 point, you know, 4%, almost 35%, you know. Uh, water infection itself can cause belly heart. So then they only eat higher in woman them. And of course, this common thing will affect, you know, up to 27% of the population, now constipation. It can bug with people, them, you know, most of the older people. Them. In fact, 50% of the people within a residential home, a care home, they can get constipation. 
and very, very severe constipation can box some people in a way that the, 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 the gut can twist by itself. So we need to know about that. Now, like I don't talk about the Beleso, as I say, it divide from, it, it starts from the, the chest Naya to the groin Naya. And if you look at them um, again, like that's it. But if you want to divide them, um, you can actually look, say, if you put the arrow there, you can't down uh, this line at the middle, those are the navel, they can't down to the groin. And then you go na the bone them, na the, na the pelvis, you know, uh, you cross along to the other side, you would divide them to four quadrants. Now each of this one gets right angle 90 degrees. You know, you will see say this one equal to dandy, dandy equal to dandy, you know. And uh, each and every part of them, and they get organ them. So, but this diagram now, yeah, in divide them very nicely. As you see, then, then this four part we see so now, if you look now, yeah, you get muscle weight in now, yeah, with then the way they bench press, then the way they go to the gym, you can see they get a six pack. So that most will be within at the right hand naya and the one within at the left hand naya. If you draw that line, go down, you go get nine different patterns. And each of them pattern, they then get organ the way they inside it. So one can overlap into the other. So if we begin from number one, you can see that the right up, the right hand naya up, and that they deliver this. So it's fine for the people they know. If I get pain on my right hand, I know, say, I think about the liver, I think about the kidney where they be in, and I think about the small intestine. You know, if I get pain in the middle layer, when at the second region, I think about the belly. Sometimes both people know say the belly then at the center and then they move to the left. You know, the liver self gain at the right hand layer, and then you move on to the left layer as well. The pancreas, then the other organ where they have for the uh, uh, digestion of the carbohydrate, then the bread, and then they do they eat, instead of the yeah, the middle layer. Then you get that small part of the bowel, we then call the duodenum, you know, instead of there. Then the spleen. We instead of the F and the blood and all that, in the left hand, but some of them can then, yeah, you see. Uh, and then, of course, number four, you go to the middle. Again, the gold blood inking can down, yeah, something, then they, but mostly then at the right up, yeah. But if you look, yeah, you go see, say, the colon there. So if they begin at the bottom right, seven, yeah, who's the appendix there, at the right, yeah, and then you go to this cecum, and then call it cecum because it's blind, you not get no window. Whereas the other one, then now they all get them. So you can see, see in the claim. So the small bowel, in, in finish naya, and then he empty into the large bowel. And you can see, say, the large bowel begin with the appendix and then the cecum. Then they go up to the ribs them. This part will go up, so then column, they are sending colon. And then we reach the ribs at the right hand. If they cross over to the ribs then at the left hand, then they, that part, they then call them the transverse colon. And then when you reach the ribs at the left hand, if they go down because it can't go up because if you go up now the chest they go but you go down now the belly go down this part we then call this part now then call the descending colon you know and then it turn inside and turn outside if by like s as you see i mean if by like s then the nine then call the sigmoid colon and then way straight then call them the rectum you know and then of course the back passage so now that now the large bowel and you can see it cross from the right it go on across and it go on to the left then the small bowel, them, then they more na the but na the middle na yeah, as you can see. But from here, when a number eight, you can see that they the bladder day, that they the sigmoid colon day, and with mama and sister and auntie them, na yeah, then they we then get then thing they they make them born. You know, na they the womb day, na they the ovary, then they one day at the right, one day the left, then get the tube, then one day at the right, one day at the left. You know, and of course, then get the TV called a woman. So. Then thing and they all if I'm for no. So if you get the pain, like somebody will get water infection, now yeah, you go to feel more of the pain. Somebody will get belly outside of the womb where they expect to be outside of the womb. So they go get a naya the right naya because they the ovary day, or at the left because they the ovary day. Somebody will get diverticular mode. They talk about this now. You go get a more on the left than on the right. So there's a lot where they go on naya, you know, and I know I'm confused now, but it's nice for let me know how who's identity are they. You know, so we don't talk about that. If I'm for let me know how this thing they work, what we call food, and the food pipe, and how it help you forget this nutrition. So when you, you take the food, the moment you smell them no more, you know, don't begin tell the message to the brain, say, ah, food become more. Most don't begin water. Well, our told they the help for, for let you begin the digestion, so that when you eat the food, you're going for chew them, and then you're able for then pass them on to this food pipe. So the most they are, we don't chew now, you bring and can to this. This food pipe, we then call it esophagus, in the end, in that part of the you know, was I, the breastbone day. So from there now, it empty into the stomach, you know, and at the belly, it empty into the belly, and at the belly now, now they, uh, this digestion, they begin. 
So inside Yah, the mild alkaline in there, very mild Naya. But when you reach Naya, it they lock because you get like this muscle where they lock Naya to allow the food for not go back up. Because if you go back up, then can cause that heartburn, then can cause that ulcer with the liver, then can cause that gastritis, you know, esophagitis with the liver. So then they lock and then the digestion they carry because that strong acid in the Naya. From there now, it come, it go on to the small intestine then as you can see, then the small one then. The size you can see is different from the big one, the large intestine. So the small intestine go, they do all what you get for doing that day. Most of the digestion, they take place. And then from there now, it empty into the large bowel. Well, I've been talking about this now. You know, this one now, yeah. This one within now. So the appendix at the beginning of them, and then the cecum, and then of course the ascending colon, the transverse colon, the descending colon, the sigmoid colon, the rectum, and of course the anus, the back passage. So any of them here can cause you belly heart. Now you need to look at this uh, 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 large bowel. When I say the, the, the liver, that the right hand now, you can see them, they were the biggest organ, and then they were the inside the belly. But the body itself, like the skin, and the, and the largest organ in the body. So now in they get that bitter, bitter, where they can say, if you buy like that alligator pepper, if you, if you kill animal, now in that thing, they boss, pan and pan the beef, they make all the beef bitter. Because now the thing that they weigh, now they have to digest the fat, as I say. Whereas the pancreas, now yeah, where they be in the belly, now in they have to digest the carbohydrate. Now. So you can see, all the food you don't digest, now yeah, now the small bowel, it becomes empty, now yeah, and from here now, the waterway deep and the food, when the digested one, they get absorbed. Now make the motion, then they get solidified, then they get become solid, till they move around, till they come for empty at the back passage now. So I hope so that they clear. Because mainly the large bowel now for store and for takeaway waiting the body no need. The small bowel now, now they digest and then help for uh, 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 absorb all the nutrients, then the valuable nutrients that we will need. So belly heart then gets different, different way for uh, uh, classify them for shape them, you know, then the shape them, the one way really bad and the one way, you know, uh, mild way in a small, small one no more. Then get one way in a generalized pain. And like I said, no more, generalized pain means you they feel them um, now more than half of the, the belly. So if I go back to this, the generalized pain, you can see I'm mean, more than half now. Yeah. So you could feel them maybe now, yeah, and yeah. So they owe more than half. Whereas the other one now, when I localize one, you they feel I'm now one area no more. So until now, yeah, up here, or middle here, or down here, or the other side. So I want to let that be clear. And then you get the one with a cramping pain. We feel like we woman day in labor. Most of the time, people in man them we get uh, that colic, renal colic, renal stones. If you see man come now, now hospital, you see they pass blood. You see the, the, the dance dance pain. So you know you go sit down, you just did dance the pain. Well, think about renal colic. Say you get stone, definitely. You know, so that crampy one. You know, people who get IBS, then say you can get that in the inflammatory bowel disease or symptom syndrome. Then you get the other pain when a colic pain. Instead of if you have a cramp. But you know, in they come and go. And you know, when it comes and taking tranga really bad, you know, and then all of a sudden it can end suddenly. So now we can get too much gas, you know, so you don't eat too much pepper, or you don't eat too much granite or something. Um, you know, you can then uh, uh, experience that that in there. But as I say, kidney stones and gold stones, they can definitely cause you that colic in there. Now do you hear me? Hello? Yes, we are you. All right, okay. For some reason, I don't froze now. Oh, boy. Right, okay. So, you need for seek immediate medical attention if you get the symptom, yeah. So, if you get the belly heart, manage them, take your painkiller, drink water, and things and all that, rest. But remember, if you get belly heart with fever, you need for think twice. If you get blood, that is stool. Whether it be fresh blood now or it black lectar, because if it black lectar, that means the bleeding they come out from the top, when at the small bowel or at the food pipe at the top. Now they because by the time the blood way they pull, we the bleeding, I tell they reach to the bottom part, it don't turn black because that's where they turn. So when we put the finger at the back passage, we see that black pool. We know say this person now up, now they the problem. They if we see fresh blood blood at the bottom, we know say it possible say you get hemorrhoids, then pile them. Or you get something else where they go on the, 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 the lower uh, uh, bowel, where something in there can be like a, a, a cut, where they can call a uh, fissure, you know, or it can get uh, any other uh, lesion where they grow. 
again, if you continue for vomit and this vomit need to get better, you need to think about that because on tendon day, pancreatitis, that's where they present. Agile vomit, projectile vomiting. If the pain where they get in the belly, you notice say you know for eat, you, you lost weight, then this is not a good sign. You need to get checked out. You know, if your skin don't yellow, somebody look at it, look at this man's skin yellow, or then pull the eyelid, the bottom eyelid, then look at that white of the eye, it turn yellow, it definitely means something they happen to deliver and that need for be checked out. The belly, if you touch your now you feel bad, bad pain. You definitely need for consider, and of course, if the belly team up for you as well, we then can say then back by you need to go toilet, you need to do this and all that. That is not a good sign. So you need for begin considering that. So fever, uh, blood not the stool, uh, vomit, continuous vomiting, weight loss, yellow skin, and the belly you add one really tender. Will you press and say if you certainly feel the pain, and if it's well by you, you need for do something about that. So the causes, uh, uh, the causes them or the thing that we they cause belly art. Like we can name them. As I say, if you look at that nine uh, division we've been get before, you go see saying at the right hand now, who's the liver day, you get the gallstone them, who don't talk about. The ulcer, although more on the center now and the left, but you can get on the right as well. The pancreas, instead of the naya, it can give you that as well. And of course, you can give that indigestion, that indigestion and it can give you uh, the ulcer. Instead of naya, you go get them, definitely. Uh, then of course you get kidney stones them way in at the middle because they come up from yeah, the loin to the groin. That's what they pin the, you know, like bet bet and a cramp. That's not the kidney stone. That's what in the typical. Again, if you get the kidney stone block the, the urine in past one for candong the blood and naya, it can cause infection. And then they said you can feel that pain the naya. And of course, if you get constipated with older people, them again you will feel pain because naya the large bowel they they come on go so this way. You see. Then of course, one thing we can forget that that hernia. Some part the naya, this lumbar hernia itself can cause bad, bad pain. Where if you like say now inside the belly, they come out, but now outside. Again, pancreatitis, and then picking them in the begin around naya, that the belly button, the umbilicus, and then you roll on to the right later on. So when picking they can come to you, you can ask the outside the pain day. And most of the time, you tell the naya, but then you don't move come to the right. And by the time you come to the right, you definitely get to think about the appendix. You know, again, constipation, the one part them. We sister them, mama them, auntie them. As I say, they can get the menstrual pain. Uh, within at the back, so then they can feel naya. And then, of course, if they get belly and they be not inside the, the, the womb, you can get that pain in naya, either at the right here or on the left naya. And another thing we can think about is that diverticulitis is what I talk about, you know. Uh, people will get Crohn's as well, you know, they can get that kind of pain in naya. Again, the hernia, we know they inside the belly, we can they are, instead can cause that pain there. because we can do the gut, they come up from inside, they go into the hernia. It goes stuck there, you know, they come out, and then they can cause problem. So therefore, the gut, they get starved, they need to get the blood supply, and then it will begin cause problem for the, the function. Then go make them get for go operate for pull arm, for put them back in the belly. If not, it will begin die. So a lot there for talk about in the belly art, but you can see the different, different in them way, they the different area and the kind of illness they will get from that. I like this picture because it give you the one way they make in a lab, and the one way that the live specimen, like I see animal, you see the small bowel indifferent from the large bowel. Now, as you can see, this is not the belly, this is not the liver. It show you how the blood supply the day and how then they, you see, the, the, if you look at it, you get, like say, you get bubble there. Whereas this one is straight and it's smaller and then at the center. This one and then at the side, you know. So any of them parts here can definitely cause you that. No question. This is not the liver, this is not the food pipe, this is not the stomach, and this is not the pancreas, what they talk about. Then this one, that the left kidney and the right kidney, they be here somewhere. This is the small bowel. This is the sigmoid we'll talk about. This one, when I like S, and then the rectum, and then the back passage there. So you can see, see all dentia can cause pain, not the belly. Again, we talk about them. Um, indigestion can cause that belly at the, uh, the virus, them, when we party them, but then they can turn with enemy them, they can cause that in the inflammation of the stomach itself, the lining of the stomach can give you that pain there. We don't talk about menstruation, that they definitely all man know. Food poisoning, that diarrhea and vomiting. If you go eat something, we don't go off. Something we don't go past, you use by date, like how Fatima been telling me, or, you know, uh, definitely you can get that poison. And that Campylobacter, then can cause that problem. People are waking get allergy, like milk allergy. Some people are not get uh, the way for digest the milk, therefore then get milk intolerance, then self can get that pain. They can give them a lot of gas, and of course, people in winter they go to toilet when the body tell and say for go to toilet, 
the body they get used to that kind of thing. So then they can end up in the for push. Because waiting do the longer you left the pool you know, the rectum, the harder it becomes. And the harder it becomes, the more difficult for you for push them out. So therefore, first then go help you. So then you get for do what they call manual evacuation. The doctor get for go put in finger, try for disimpact and for try for pull and come out so that you go for pull. Other than that, first then go for go do my surgery. You know, yeah. So, you know, yeah. So in the pelvic inflammatory disease as well, you know, we see that we can get inflammation, you know, and get that kind of thing. Yeah. So, um, again, as I say, we talk about the hernia, the gallstone them, the kidney stone them, and of course, the, the bowel can twist by itself, you know, we don't call bowel obstruction. Then they can happen to Peking, it can happen to the old one them. And I think we want to avoid because of tendon day, you know, able for untwist by itself. And so, therefore, they cause problems. And you can need operation, then therefore go up in the belly for on twister. So in the day, because you don't twist for a long time, if you don't day, uh, you don't begin die, then therefore cut that part we don't die, then then join them. You know, we see that the way no, but endometriosis, then go tell you. Say the endometriosis now when the 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 the, the lining where they inside the womb, we're supposed for dinner the womb, defend itself outside of the womb. So any time we that line in the begin bleed because it get ready for the next egg we get for calm when the menstruation that particular part with the outside of the womb can bleed and then they not supposed to happen but because it they happen so when it bleed and that blood day when it congeal it can cause the organ them and the other thing they within your arm for uh, quiz together and squeeze to and adhere together and that can cause problem you know so I talk about Crohn's disease we talk about ulcerative colitis and this on tendon day can lead to obstruction as well. And then the ulcerative colitis sometimes can lead to cancer. So we need to be monitored. You know, urinary tract infection, you know, water infection, very prevalent in the human them, both young and old. You know, so if you get problem inside the pubic region there, inside that here they grow, then definitely you need to be checked out. You know, and of course you get that. T will talk about that. Uh, 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 T the, the the food within the stomach, they come up in the food pipe, go back in the, in the, in the food pipe. And then they can cause that in the for bone, we can cause that pain day, like heartburn, you know. So again, we don't talk about all the entire ectopic pregnancy, celiac disease, now people are unable for uh, uh, able for digest anything we get gluten for now. So they can forget a gluten-free diet, you know. So then they, if we they uh, do uh, exercises for try to keep fit and all that, we can do more than we want to do because sometimes we want to get better quick. And that way they, we can pull the muscle and then the self can cause me pain. So we need to be very careful. So at the end of the day, you don't go for friend the cause of the pain until you actually uh, ask the patient whether you don't do anything. Maybe you don't fall down, maybe you don't twist or pull something heavy or you don't pull it back or something. And that way they, you're going to say this thing, then they come off from the belly itself, from the muscle there, you know? Now then called referred pain. It they come off outside of the belly area. And it can be from any side, you know? Because for let you, move the belly muscle, you know, so you get all the muscle that way they have from the chest, from the back, you know, all that they have. So definitely you will see, say, somebody say we can get heart attack, can you actually get pain in the belly, believe it or not. You know, somebody where you can get diabetes flare up, you know, the sugar go up, you get an infection, you can get pain in the belly, they vomit. So all length in the day can cause problems for the belly, not to just inside the belly. And I make the doctor in get away for look at everything to find out you know, who side the pain they come out, whether inside the belly or outside. So we don't talk about the old one then, we need to talk about the young one then. Now the young one then, they're slightly different from we, because we can do them, they're mostly in a constipation and then they suffer from. So the picking them in a constipation and can cause them belly out one. And then of course, followed by uh, the water infection, urine tract infection, especially for the girl then we age between one to five, you know. So then they, they can get that tonsillitis, that throat infection, then itself can give them belly heart, you know, believe it or not. And of course, the appendix, we know about that. And then young baby, then we, the mama know for breastfeed them, but then get this milk allergy, then itself can make the belly team up on them. And then they are very uncomfortable unless they cry and you get for begin thinking about it. So then they, so then they, the pediatrician, then the picking doctor, then get for change the, 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 the milk, you know, for help for uh, accommodate that. And of course, you get with them picking the way can eat them paint. You just go in the corner, you know, for boredom, you know, go, go, begin, pull the paint and you go in the mortuary. Now, if that thing they continue for happen, you can lead to what they call lead poisoning, you know, and then they said they present with belly heart. 
you know, but then they nothing way then call a diagnosis of exclusion. You get for don't pull all the major one the way they cause that heart, that belly heart day before you find out say you can't do to that particular thing. Because if you don't look all the blood results, all the x-ray them, all the ultrasound them, all the scan them, nothing all day, but then this belly is still there when the possible says something like that kind of thing. And if you look at them, you can see the lead way in level there. Again, then picking their weights until they bully them in school, or so then they get problem now, the host, then they maltreat them, then they abuse them. Emotional distress is not even we need to think about. You need picking where you they very reserved, you don't yourself, you know, wear clean clothes, you know, you look really malnourished and all that. You really sad. Think about that until a school day or something that the host itself, 19 they happen to them. And then they say can get belly out. So as you can see, well, they still get the same nine, you know, now, yeah. You know, it's very difficult for them to get the goldstone them, but they can get them. But as you can see, mainly, and then why I will put nine, nine can cause them problem with it. So we don't talk about the, uh, you know, the 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 the, the irritable bowel syndrome where Bokuman gets, you know, no no no, see them get them, they get this diarrhea and vomiting and get bloated. You can see that. Then of course the constipation. We don't talk about. If you know they open your bowels, ask the body, the brain, they tell you you can cause yourself problems. You will get the gas and it can cause sharp pain. Then if you get this ulcer, in your own, the pain obviously is at the center, outside that chest down before the belly begins. Now they then at the center mainly, although it can go up or go down, but then you can feel for vomit and then the, you get this heartburn. The pancreas where we know mainly, the pain sharp, it is in the middle, but then definitely you get for vomit a lot, agile, and then you can get fever, you know. And the diverticulitis, then pouting and they will talk about. They own, then they mourn at the left than the right. So if somebody come 60 year old, they come with pain in left hand. And when I feel I'm not saying get pain in left hand, now one thing that I can think of. Whereas if now young woman is still the born and they tell me, say, you don't see in period in four day, four weeks, I would definitely think it's on time you don't get belay and the belay day inside that, that part day rather than the inside the, the womb. So it all depends on the age, the character of the, the pain and how long you don't do, what you don't do for them, um, whether blood day or not. And that's how it is. So I don't talk about the diagnosis, how, the, how the, the talk about the toxicity is not just telling you how you diagnose them. So if you come to the doctor, it go ask you about the symptoms, then how then they, it go examine you, go find out inside the pain, whether they're at the right, at the left, at the top, at the bottom, at the middle, you know, and then they go give you a paper for go do some tests there. They include the blood test, the urine test, then go do a scan, ultrasound, but then go do a CT scan, so then they need to get for do even the heart tracing, we then call ECG. Because as I tell you now, so people in there go get heart attack, they don't notice it, then they get them because the pain when they feel like the belly. And then they can fool the doctor self as well as the patient. So we need to understand the characteristics of the pain and then they go guide you to the correct diagnosis. Again, we talk about the mental health condition there. Then they, they can contribute very much, but you need for don't rule out any other major thing before you can say that this is a mental health problem. You know, so they get for think about your mental mental health history, your family history, because on sick then they eat in the family. The drug then we people then take, then cocaine, heroin. And if you take that day, it can cause you constipation, that is it can give you belly heart. You know, it is slow the bowel down. If you take something like uh, them blood thin at them, it can cause you for bleed. I know somebody will actually get that problem the way you go to hospital because you get constipated, but then put them on the blood thinner because then just do surgery by in, in shoulder, you know, we try for thin the blood for them. In the process where they push, it begins to see blood and the, the motion. So it just goes for sure. So if you don't know the history of the drugs and the history of the, the surgery or the family, medical history, you can actually get an understanding of what in the happen. And of course, if you don't get nothing at all, then sometimes they announce for let you ask the person whether I've been not involved in an accident or whether I go to gym recently. I don't see picking them when they come, the belly out so bad, but they forget for say the midday pump PE in a school, where they run, run, and all that. They for them, they don't know, they don't tell my mind, papa. When they bring and come, obviously, we don't rule out everything else. We find out in an injury, we don't get any better. And of course, don't forget say, if the woman pregnant, you know, can notice until they know about notice if you're pregnant. Now we can can't tell them. So if a woman collapsed now, also with this belly heart and the day of childbearing age, I can always really top of my list for think about say this one's until get belly, no, no, and the belly not inside the womb, and that can kill if you not do them immediately. So we don't talk about that. So with how for diagnose them? the blood, the urine, the stool, the x-ray, the ultrasound, the CT scan, and of course, they can give you that. Uh, and bottom. 
Can you hear me? Yeah, they hear you. Yeah. Hmm. Right. I don't know. I don't lost me on the screen now. <gasps> Let's go. Yeah, as well as drug. Yeah, so as well as drug, as well as the characteristic of the pain, and of course, they go ask you about the, the, the family history and if you get any injuries, and of course, if you're pregnant. Yeah, so definitely, then they go guide the doctor to wait in their pain. Next slide, please. Yeah. All right, we'll talk about that, as I say. Then get this camera where they can use you know, endoscopy. Uh, if not the, but not the top, where you get the ulcer. Uh, you know, peptic ulcer, you get gastritis, definitely, then go do that. If the person, they vomit blood, then go and know whether uh, the person gets any ulcer or maybe you get that, you then call varices. So people, the way they drink, they really, they heavy drink, man, they, they can develop that thing, they, we then call varices. And the varices, believe you me, you know what I'm saying, because where you bleed is really bad. So then can't think they, they can always take notes, and then get for that camera for let them stop the bleeding. Otherwise, the person will say the person, they, at the risk of losing in life. The bottom beat, obviously, if you get fresh blood in the stools, then go for check whether a polyp you get, whether you get a tear in the back passage, whether you get a fissure in the back passage, whether an piles you get, or whether, worst of all, you get a lesion. And remember, when they talk about lesion, they say cancer and all that. The cancer, of course, that bad diagnosis, but if you catch them early, well, obviously, you go able for do something, but most of the time, if you catch them early, you definitely go get a much, much success than when you left them late where you don't spread. Next slide, please. And last one, the, 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 as I said, the heart attack, they can do that ECG because as I said, the pain can come up from the chest, go under the belly. So if I'm for let me know that, say, not to all pain, they come under the, under the belly no more. So then they can come up from outside. Yes. Next one, please. Yeah. So prognosis, you know, how long the pain they last and whether it get better or worse, Will depend. It depend on the the pain we cause them, uh, the thing we cause them. You know whether you respond to treatment or not. You know, and of course, most of them. If you take, you know, special measures like you drink water, you know, you lay down, maybe take paracetamol or something, or take that. I call it that Pepsi or something. You know, uh, Rennies or whatever. Then they can help. If you constipated, of course, then get them uh, mother. We don't call them old wives tale. We don't call that prune prune juice. They help milk. Where people are saying can help them. So man saying now fruit can help them. So obviously then they all can help. But if you find out, say, it's not the help at all, then clearly you go for begin thing for begin fan road for go hospital or call your doctor. Because definitely if the pain, as we say, get fever, get jaundice, get weight loss, get swelling of the belly, then definitely you need for be examined, you need to be assessed, and you need some testing to be done. Next slide, please. So in the treatment, then. Well, we don't talk on that already. Segue nicely to that, you know, drink water, avoid some solids for a few hours. Like if you don't colic, the eye big pass the belly, you overfeed, you get that colic pain. If you allow a normal for settle, you take some fluids rather than take anything heavy. You find that say then they will get better. Rest and you will feel better. Avoid some people and they will get this intolerance to, to um, dairy products or so gluten, you know, definitely avoid dentin and the citrus fruits. You know, people that will get the gastric ulcer avoid tomatoes because it's very acidic. You know, we would drink then coffee. You know, some mango drink four or five coffee a day. Remember that, you know, they help. You know, anything in moderation is okay. Think about the alcohol. I don't say no drink, oh, me not the drink, but at the end of the day, if they drink, well, stick to the measures. 14 units, nine and say for everybody per week. Then carbonated drink them. We would drink then Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, you know, Tango and all that. We go for drum maybe in moderation. If we overdo them, then this can cause problem, you know. so. If that in there bug you, like the pain bug you, stick to them small light diet, like crackers, then plain rice, you know, banana, apple sauce, then kind of thing, then they can help, you know. Next slide, please. So if at all, then they do not help, then of course, then go we'll give you this medication for treat. So then get into it and call PPI, proton pump inhibitor. So then to mango don't worry about um, lanzoprazole, amiprazole, pantoprazole, all that then they can help for that, definitely. So man don't worry about cimetidine or cimetidine, ranitidine, all the things they need to help. And of course, if you get an infection, definitely then get for give you antibiotics for help with that. You know, things like uh, H. pylori, that helicobacter pylori. You know, if you get gastritis, we're now 
bug cause them, like the Campylobacter, then get for give you antibiotics. And then of course, if you get the pain, they will give you something for reduce the inflammation. Like if you get inflammatory bowel disease, certainly so they can give you that mesalazine, you know, and then they get for give you something like uh, steroids for dampen the inflammation. And of course, then get for again give you specific one them like Acer call with nine days specifically for the bowel them, you know. And best still, if that not happen and you need surgery, then go offer you the surgery. But then go start from the one the way then go treat. First time, we know some person get ulcer, na, 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 na surgery, then go do straight away. Nowadays, for over the past 20 years, they need to operate again for ulcer. Then just they give conservative treatment, then give you the PPI, give you the painkiller, check your diet, avoid your smoking, avoid your alcohol. And as I say, 80, 90% of the cases, then they well without much for do any with surgery. So now in a conservative treatment, mostly in that we get. Next slide, please. Yeah, so as I say, we talk about the surgery. If now hernia you get, then go infinitely get for repair the hernia so that you go stop the, the bowel, the gut for come out. If the appendix inflamed, then go for do appendicectomy. There's no question, then go for pull up. If now belly, the baby didn't at the wrong side, did not, it did outside of the womb, it didn't at the, uh, the, the, the ovary or it didn't at the, the tube, that tube did not, they don't make them for that. They make them for just let the egg pass and go into the womb, you know. So if at all the baby did there, where the baby they grow, by the time they reach six to 10 weeks, it can burst. And when it burst, they leave him in a catastrophe. They bleed like mad. And I make if somebody collapse, we get belly. Until we know otherwise, we can assume, say, this person get, you know, ectopic pregnancy. And that, so then they can get for pull either the tube or then pull the ovary and the tube. And that means the person in chances for get baby next time go down, come down. You know me say no, get baby again. No. You can get baby, but of course, it's much more difficult with one tube than when you get two tube. And of course, if the bowel don't go inside the hernia, don't get stuck there or you don't twist by yourself. And after a few hours, you don't they show, say you don't they black. Well, that thing didn't go inside that belly. When they open the belly, that part they were not pink, like I see the other picture just now. Then go for cut and pull and come out. Then then join the, the, the good part together or then pull them out like the stoma, the bag I can see for other people. Because waiting, then they allow for let it heal. And then after a few months, maybe to a year, then can then join them back. We then call reverse anastomosis. Yeah, next time, please. So we get, we never forget we own uh, uh, country medicine, them, you know, acupuncture itself can help and that. Definitely because on sick, then they wear the belly out. You don't do all kind thing, you don't see nothing, but the acupuncture can help, you know. And then of course, hypnosis. Some people in the in a, in a mental problem, you know, psychosomatic, as they call them. And a mental health problem. So therefore, you hypnotize them, it can help in pain. You can meditate, that itself can help. And of course, if you for do yoga, pilates, you know, relaxation therapy, then then they all there. Definitely. Next slide, please. Yeah. So how you go prevent this belly art? Now, as I say, we don't need to talk about that. You know, drink water plenty. You know, stay hydrated because dehydration can cause you forget constipated. You know, listen to your body. So Mondays on ten now, once every four days, then they go to toilet. Like me now, I know say every day I for don't go. If I don't go two, three days, mm, I know say something happens. So when the body they tell you say like this, you don't use to go with them. No, you don't say no. I need to do them this and that because as you do them, that's so the brain they get taught a different habit, and that can cause problem for you later on because the muscle them not to the same way be young compared to how you do now. Train yourself for let you know say this one. I'm time for go. Get a balanced diet where you really get good fiber. You know, panna. You know, broccoli, baked beans you know, with a big and all that and they get vegetables really good. Fruits, definitely that five or 10 with them can say for a day, it really nice. And remember when you eat, do you take your time, charm nicely, regularly and slowly, because believe you me, anytime we get sweller, you they take air, go inside. The breeze you they put on at the belly and that can make the belly can team up, you begin burp and then it's on day. The way we don't decide the guts now, the stock, small bowel can come back up or come. And then they now in get acid, then can come, come born. That, that part there on top beside the foot pipe, they can cause that heartburn. So in, remember, don't make the eye big past the belly. You don't see that five creature at the, the meal. You feel, say, and then they're all for done. No, if the brain don't begin telling you, say, you don't begin bell full, you can cover them and eat later on, not to pass you don't all. So listen to that. Your body, they tell you because we all get in center the day. Exercise regularly. Believe you me, people in the way they, na, na them, and then hoist them, people are winnable worker, then definitely more to, prone to constipation than possibly the worker. Because what you do, they got them, the way they make we, we mortal land, we will team up upright. 
So we team up upright, then did they go down? There's no questions about that, you see. Um, so, and of course, we got to think about to prevent, preventing any kind of injury. So if you drive, please, please, please not forget you sit well because you can injure you belly, you don't know that. And then, then they can cause you a lot of problems. So imagine, say, somebody get belly, you not get in seatbelt, you hit that bump before them, how it will be, you know? So important for them to do that. And all learning that prevention. Next slide, please. So now, if finally we just look at this video, I don't know if we're gonna get a chance, but watch the video and see what you're gonna think about that. And from there now, we can down and take questions. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much. I hope so, and I enjoy that. And now we can go to business. Yes, Uncle Doc. Yes, that's it. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Okay. Um, I don't enable people for able um take their mute, come off and um, come off mute. So if you okay. get any questions for us, thank okay. you very much, um, Dr. Kamar. Um, now that'll be a good session and then we don't give it. Um, there's a lot of issues that they we can lead to better at. Most of who they practice a lot of unsafe things, them um, um you know, years ago. I remember I'll be this alone, let me say I'm in your gastric cancer. Um it's really painful. Um, if anybody don't go through it, then they, you go understand. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Davo, how are you, sir? I'm very well, sir. Thank you. Thanks for. I'll take your questions, sir. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. La Laon. Yes, Doc. Uh, this now uh, another <laughs> powerful uh, uh, lecture for this this afternoon, and I hope so people will be able to benefit from this because you touch almost everything where I uh, asleep people will need for know. The only I got only two, I got two questions, but I will ask the one first and see maybe somebody else could get the same question I want to ask. But it happened the other time. The one is the you know the one way they say the gas they escape or um you know from the esophagus or something where he go to the stomach if he escape so they can get acid they can get heart burn and waiting. Now the waiting can cause that escape they do because if you did. If you get something where they lock them, what can make it a able escape? If you get something where God don't make something the way they lock that side day. because nothing and we could suffer from really working that problem there. So I just want to know if something they will be able to do for let that not happen, or nothing will be for happen, whether you try something or not. So thank you. Good question. Um, as I say, <laughs> it's interesting when you say that as you talk, I say God don't make something, you don't put that lock on them. The the muscle within at the bottom, then call them. The lower esophageal sphincter, a tight band of muscle within. I make a day day for prevent that food we don't pass go down from the top going at the bottom, make it come back because now the food pipe, the top part, now mild alkali they put them. Yeah. Whereas that, as you put them, God make them for uh, that particular part, the way they underneath, inside the, the stomach, the way now they the strong acid. In fact, that acid they so strong that it can actually burn, you know, person if you touch them in body. That's how strong it is, you know. So hydrochloric acid where they put them inside the stomach, inside the belly, so strong. So imagine that acid day we did with the food, defending self come up, back out. Yeah. So that area they were not supposed to get them, they get burnt. And that bonding day, the only way they present itself now with this pain. So then a one no lecture, then call them possible say you get uh, hiatus hernia. So. And that, that one lecture, I'm not going to go into that now, but there's yeah. something we don't call hiatus hernia, which means that lower esophageal sphincter, that's so it's tight. If you watch me on, it's tight like that. Yeah? yeah. But the manual, yeah. it lacks small bit. So obviously, that food way for the dung, way in the acid, they mix with the one way on top, way in the alkali. So anytime we acid mix with that in the, in the bone. So when you burn them, they can you burn your body now, so that thing they get for well. And that they cause you the pain. So in effect, you get particular measures the way you go take. No eat past mark. No eat mm. too late. No eat big meals. No eat anything we get acid. But like we talk about tomatoes, citrus fruits, and things like that. The people that we get are really bad. They can get something two, three pill of them when they sleep with. You know, for let them able for they not flat, not them well, well, not them back, but then they a bit rise, you know, up so that the the the, the gravity they go that way rather than up. You know what I mean? And of course, stop mm -hmm. for stoop, you know, and, and then of course, you know, take the medication where you need for protect the lining of the stomach. But it's as simple as that. But then I want to lecture of the hiatus hernia. If you want that, we can talk about that at a later date. But Thank you, significantly, Thank you. you know, that, that's what it is. It's just the mixing of that acid with the alkali way in the area we're not supposed to deny they cause that bond there. And that bond obviously not painful thing. It's as simple as that. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Dr. Kamar. Um, you talked something about um um reflux when you say that it reminds me of the one as well with the pk in the sofa is there any link or similarities between the two 
That's exactly what it is. I just answered the Dr. Mr. Dabon answer. That's the question. That's exactly how it is. That's the way mm -hmm. they come out from the inside the stomach. We get uh -huh. acid mix up with the one where they are up. Now they cause that in there. And of course, the baby they don't even worse because they belly they high up. You know what I mean? We're different uh -huh. to the we the adult then. We only a bit lower. So obviously you get chance for making protector. Whereas the baby they own, now maybe they can vomit, now maybe they can get that in the way, can bug them. So as a result, then maybe they can get food allergy. You know, the milk allergy can cause that problem there. And of course, uh, it's possible say they self get something where they get maybe the inheritance from the family, but too late. Another thing we can happen is that sometimes they then get that to then call uh, pyloric, you know, pyloric stenosis, where obviously if the baby just born within the first four to eight weeks, we feed them he angry. All the time one food, but as if you don't know more now that he vomit straight away. Big projectile vomit, you know. But when you feel in belly, you go see something like a sausage with you around that. Now they that quick thing for fix, but of course you get for no within the baby. But reflux that you will come on amongst the baby, them no question. But especially the one that we the curable. What do you mean? The it natural way in a in a controlling control number or the game with men and play well. The baby on the adults. Thing, because, oh, no, no, uh, I mean, it can get is, better. Yeah. It can get better again, depending on the size, depending on the person. And another thing we can cause that if the person lose weight too quickly, you know, if you if you lose weight too quickly, all that in the way they hang, beside the diaphragm, they with the hang, you can actually get loose and that can pull the sphincter with it and that can give you that in there. So, man, they get, they get two types. They get the sliding and then get the rolling hiatus hernia. And that can cause problem depending on which one, you know. So, you know, so, as I say, a wide old topic that we can talk about, not a problem. I'm happy yeah. for taking down more than it's going to start. Antacid tablets and milk, well, let me that even they take. Yeah, they exactly. Which yeah, is nowadays, nowadays, they find out, say, they're not particularly effective. Therefore, they get this proton pump inhibitor. They are there for bring down the acid, not the belly, not the, not the small intestine, you know, so they call them the, the lanzoprozole, omeprozole, pantoprozole. I mean, we get GP there, you know, Doc Self we will tell you about that. But that's that that, that thing you use, but mainly na, na change of lifestyle. You know, you know, you have to think about what you they eat, how you they eat, how much you they eat, and when you they eat, all that in the day, you know, and then how you they sleep and all that. You know, and because uh, they, 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 I say change lifestyle, like then coffee, then smoke, the alcohol, all that in the day, they all get effect on that. There's no question about that. So you, you know, that's you have to change drastically, and then obviously that helps. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Kamara. I see some people and get glasses. Anybody who get glasses, I need to take call. And they go to mommy to say first. <laughs> mommy to say. <laughs> yeah. Um. Good evening, everybody. Doctor. Uh, thank you for this session today because most of we all they suffer the entire hour. But now one question number one for us: What is the cause uh, stomach perforation? Oh boy! All right. Good question. <laughs> if the ulcer, if the ulcer deep, it deep, then it can cause actually the belly, you know, perforation. So I don't know if that, that now you ask about because if the ulcer they eat into the bowel, so then they can get perforation. So that when they do the X-ray of the chest, then go see the gas we're supposed to be in at the belly, they escape into the the belly proper, the abdomen. When they look at the X-ray, then go see I'm small uh, gas, and that's not a good thing because they need for them close that because. Which is supposed for the now the stomach itself, not supposed for the now the outside of the stomach. And that can cause infection, we then call peritonitis, and that can cause death, can cause sepsis, a lot of problems. So first, first term, we end up they treat people then with this uh, PPIs, this lanzoprazole, and all that in the day. Now, now quick thing for surgery. And since person get also now for go operate pen and then get this to them, they call Billroth one, Billroth two, the operation there. Nowadays, I think for the past 15, 20 years, now they treat people with that. No or less. There's something else, you know. Some people will get the Crohn's, and then the Crohn's they affect from the mouth to the back passage. So the Crohn's in different from the ulcerative colitis because in the cause narrowing of the bowel, and as a result, in give them called skip lesion. Then then they can cause for leg need surgery because they need for actually avoid that. Otherwise, the person go get obstructed, and if you get obstructed, it go uh, damage the blood supply, and that it can lead to problems with the bowel, and that can cause perforation, as you say. And of course, when you hear they say perforation, not a good thing. You need for be sorted out as soon as possible. Yeah, it can affect small picking then also. Well, just like you get, just you like get that's what they call volvulus. You know, where the, 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 the bowel they go inside in company, you know, then you can get that to them called intersusception, you know, where they twist around and go inside in company. Intersusception, one they go inside and then volvulus, one they twist around the other, you know. So 
then they can cause the blood supply for no for good to the bowel. And as a result, if he suffer, he gets strangled, he could begin dying. And when he die, he go bust. And if he bust, he need operation for pull that die part and then connect them to the other part. Yeah, um, if you born picking like uh, two weeks old, so it be they get a rise for like in belly, be they rise, but then later they get for a fixed tube, you know? mm -hmm. for through that tube, then a day it be they, it be they pass, yeah. It be, no, 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 they be they pass and I, you know, study be they release really it, you for try for the belly for go down. Yeah, no, that, that's it. Now, now, that's what it is. That didn't have yeah. uh, uh, a volvulus or an interception because they know one for, for operate. So, until then, they, if he, yeah. if he sort himself out without operation, when they put that tube there, for let the alarm, mm. for let the gas come out, and then the teen actually solve himself, he come out by himself, and then he walk. Most of the time, they walk. But of course, they yeah. keep an hospital for keep an eye on that. And if they find yeah. out, say, then they know they walk because then they observe them. Definitely, they will go for uh, consent. They will go for asking for let you ask, for let you grease it, then go for operate them. Because then go for on un twist them and go for pull them so that you not go die. Because if you die, then a major surgery, then go for connect, pull the die part and then connect the other part when I help the part. You know, you know, go affects her in old age. Oh, no, no, no. After. I mean, our people they don't lose three quarters of them, but people will get the uh, uh, ulcerative colitis, you know, it, it, it don't lose the three quarters of them, but it's still there, you know, still there. there. I mean, sometimes. The, the 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 kind of motion, the kind of pull we get, not to the same like somebody will get the large power, you know. But it's still there if they carry on and you get in nutrients that you can get some tablet the way care pump for supply that uh, the malnutrition we can get because they get a, a short bowel syndrome, you know, where you don't pull the large bowel in a day, the absorption of the fluid or liquid they take place so they go get solid, the motion they go pass. If you don't pull that, then the absorption not gonna take place. So it got now just a transit, quick transit. So therefore. It is important for let you get something we go help you forget your nutrition. But but they still live. They still live, no question about that. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mommy Sise. And thank you, Dr. Kama. Um, yes, it's a good gift. <laughs> yes, it's a good gift. Don't be angry. Don't be angry. You can't wear glasses. You know, stop eating them. Yeah, I don't mm. think you pick on you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Never pulled the game. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Um, I just want to say thank you to Dr. Kamara. The ones who are not what one for talk, you know, they talk about reflux for the picking them as well. I know me not to medical, well, me not to medical, medical person, but because huh? as a health visitor, what we can say is that um where you picking, where you don't feed the picking on like the baby, now for sit now for sit them up, maybe for half an hour. Let the, let the food go down, digest, because on 10 days on Kumara, them as soon as they don't feed the picking, they don't they let them go let the picking straight away. So the picking in, in, in food, not they even don't set food before then they go let the picking. So then they, they go ask, say, let you let the picking, let you put the picking up maybe half an hour, let the picking sit down up half an hour, or we put the picking lay down. Now for us, the, the pillar up small, the, the back um, beside the eighth day, for us and up so that at least you go to sit down a bit upright as well. Now, Dr. Kamala, I just I'll be just want for no as well. Waiting, waiting at kidney stones, because I know some people and they don't go, they wanna say, when they say kidney stone and go feel for saying that may I hope I hope not, but sometimes I go feel saying that just the stone where they outside where they see them rubble rubble na grow, nine as kidneys, nine, maybe nine they inside the body. So now for just let like, explain to people and no more waiting at kidney stone, please, or gold blood, gold stones. I mean, I mean, uh, the, uh, the, each of them, the, 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 like the gallbladder, where they talk, so he gets that, that green bile, that bitter, bitter, which you hear about. You know, if you're too thick, it's possible to say it can actually form sun sand. From the sun sand, it will become stone. You know, it's like gravel. It can happen. So they can be big. I don't see some way big. If by big pass, the, the biggest diamond that the world really don't see. I don't see that. The whole gallbladder full up with a, 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 a gallstone. I don't see that. You know, so so then the the connection from the gallbladder to the bowel when that that duct, who do you hear about? The cystic duct and the common bile duct, the one where they come out from the liver. You get the one at the right, you get another one at the left, and then the cystic one they can't join for get for call for call, sort the for form the common bile duct, and then and they go empty into the small bowel together with the pancreatic duct. So the pancreas getting yon, the, the the liver getting yon. You know, so then they narrow or then get an infection, they get an inflammation, so then they, they can cause that stone they make form. And of course, if you can't eat something with a fat, where the body need this fat for let it get digested, and the only thing you could digest and this bile where they come out from the gallbladder, where now they face obstruction because the stone they now in way, 
na dead the gida pain. It's like when they blow balloon, you know, you they blow the balloon and the balloon won't let the air out, you need it for later because you all arm, you tie up. So now the more you stretch them, the more they give you the pain. And so the day you talk about perforation, that can lead to that sometimes. Now make somebody will get uh, gallstones and in calm, the liver function begin get abnormal. They can keep them in hospital because they can get infection and then make sure say, the infection go down, settle well, before they think about say for take up to surgery. But then the certain thing you go for happen five, six times a year, seven times a year, it really the impact on your lifestyle now before they say, okay, let them pull up. Nowadays they get that keyhole surgery when they pull out. You know, same applies to the, the kidney. You know, again, the blood, the way they pass there from the kidney come out. So then there again, a stone then can form there because we can do sansan, you know, and all that can happen, sludges, and of course, inflammation and infection can cause that in the for scar. Then it can cause that stone there. So man can get stone, you know, not say get up. But then you go lift something heavy, the stone come out from the kidney, come down at that tube, the way they connect the kidney to the bladder. And because the, that tube, they're very tiny, the stone too big for them, and that because that pain the way people like colic, what they say. If you see boy picking come now hospital to you, you see and they dance, pampain, you understand? They go up and down, you get for think longer hard say possible, say, especially when the pain they come out from the right hand or the left hand, from the groin to the loin, you get for think about that, say not possible. And then if you get on the right treatment, the pain can get better. You drink plenty of water, sometimes then you can push the stone and the stone come out. If you not come out, then they go keep you in and possibly say they go for removal because it's too big for pass, you know. And if you not pass, it can block the kidney and cause that you would then call hydrourea or hydronephrosis. And that is not a good thing because that kidney there is well and it can cause problem and cause poison at the body. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Uncle Doc. I don't get one of the best questions so far of the day. But I know we guess we see the <laughs> we see the person ask. Okay. Um, beside what we know, beside what we know generally say if you eat dry milk and you eat kinder, you go fat. What thing can normally cause <laughs> flatulence? What are people have? <laughs> but not, not natural, isn't it? Yeah, very true. Very natural. If you know, yeah. if you know fat, then something is wrong. No, no, not possible. So, <laughs> simple. Ah, what thing can cause when people have fat? You know, they go fat uh, all the time. Basically, you, I don't talk about the the one off. Yeah, I'm talking about mean. that one way. You know, yeah. it's one off. Which yeah, most of the time, depending on the kind of food where they eat, mm. and secondly, the flora and the body. Some people, they waste on time. You can get some antibiotics or some medicine the way they take in cause that kind of thing. You know, if you get diarrhea, you know, when an infective one, obviously they give you more gas. There's no question about that. You eat too much pepper, like me. I eat anything we get, but pepper nine that I've already forgot because they irritate the lining. And then they mm. give me that gas. You know what I mean? Mm. The kind of food like legumes, lentils, you know, then big beans, then you know, broccoli, then beans, them, then green beans and all that in the day, then hard for digest. Even the leaf the whole day, they hard for digest. So for late digest, you need more time. And the more time you get, the more they produce the gas, you know. And if you eat something enough eat you, that now we will the belly, they tell you say, or the bowels they tell you say, ah, this enough it me for them for it to begin well, you know. I mean, I don't see somebody, he come to me, like say the bowel twist, but all he is, he eats that, that beans and kinder, as you say, you know, after we get and bosco and the Lego, one, two, five, ten, like that, you know, the belly can do, and that's it, it's fine. <laughs> so, mm. so that's mm. it, it happens, obviously, mm. you know. <laughs> you know what for Danny Adam, obviously, but then, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, this is nature as it mm. is. You know, then yeah. irritable bowel syndrome down yeah, the back. That, that's the whole part of our yes, uh, uh, yeah, uh, suffer, uh, suffer from um, any yeah, very, right. very, very, yeah. very, very bad. Very, very, very bad. Not so just for the for the uh, um wind, but um for the belliat as well, the constipation, you yeah. know, diarrhea and constipation. And again, yeah. now for land, me I, what you are doing is because we don't the money me too much. Mr. Fuan one day now say, you know what I mean? go online, la find all the food they were for eat and wait enough for eat. Yeah. Now cut a lot of the food them. Their English food they are so, they're not good for we one because of right. the chemical. We are cut down, <laughs> truly. We are cut down from, I need to, I go farm foods, I need to buy no chemical food where for eat. We are cut down on all the things then they, I they cook my own food, whether it's sweet or not. Me they cook them, how if now it's my food I want. <laughs> No, truly. So I find out that that that's not help a lot. Pl for drink plenty of water, but what they eat chips, crisp, this that. Enough it. We um one day one doctor one day they will be they talk about um 
the stomach and all that stuff then they you know because we come out africa we own but they don't get we own you but they use this kind of food or this type of food that we can yeah we can try for put englishman type of food where we now we just now other because africa will come out he says so sometimes they then they can affect you as well because now different you you be in flora and everything they they take now different thing where you know use now actually we don't grow up you know they don't know them born at the beginning of them born and then you one day but we already come we can't take with man food put some pan top the africa man food as well then then they already create problem so i mean uh, one thing i can say is that food na food one thing i can say is that whether black man or which man or african man or whatever food you na individual and waiting fit you na you yeah. for take it's Nine a for that. It. indeed jam. Because as I say, waiting good for you not necessarily means it's not good for the other person. Like me, yeah. it's interesting. Yeah. I can tell you this. I can shape this with you now. If I eat, I like granite soup, ajay But the moment I eat granite soup, believe you me, lie. I didn't know You know. Mm. But then it turned out, say, I begin investigate and I find out, say, uh, granite. You get arachis. Arachidonic acid. Mm. Now one ingredient for the laxative. There. So me on Bel Air intolerant to that in there. But you find out. That if you put granite pan cassia leaf, I am fine. Mm. So you see. So that's the thing. So if you know what tailor made for you, individually yeah. okay with you, then go with that. Especially you will get that bad uh, IBS day. There's no question. Yeah, me, if you cut yeah, out a few things yeah. and definitely suit you, then that's fine. Another thing you get for you with other black or white, because mm. I don't see which man they eat cassia leaf. Salon man said, yeah. they enjoy it like that. Everything can't win at that you want. Mm. Whether you cook or not, not that you want. And this is that we too much. Yeah. We know one day go Africa. So it just yeah. goes to show you. They lack and like nothing else. I know one day complain of any problems. So food yeah. now food. But if I will feed you, go with them. If I will not feed you, then less of them, then go okay for you. Yeah. But me, I just cut out all the with man, most well, of the with man food. That, that's because right. that one day just it just it that's just okay. make if I want to cook I mean they cook me own. I need to try to make me own. It's fine. Come out, whether I come out fine or not. And that's how we should be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but Thank give you me very much. Um, basically, me the thing where me be no say no more. Me be like very yeah. good to depend on who's how they go. Yeah. Um, I say like thing like kinder, locos, guy <laughs> milk. <laughs> milk. <laughs> you know, if I go to school, I go scout camping. That is very good. But if I go to church, I go public place. I go for make sure see avoid. <laughs> we give and give, give and cash here. <laughs> and and want to talk something here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, and um and. Can you unmute, please? Good evening, yeah. everybody. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I like your uh, sweater. Ah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'd like to ask uh, Mr. Kamara, because we lost our mum six years ago, and her main bowel ruptured, um, and it just come on all of a sudden. She had this horrible pain, and no indication. She was sweating. A, a temperature and a heart rate went up. Got her into hospital. Mr. Kamara come to me, mum, and did some observations. Um, and she went up to the ward and she was feeling good. And then 20, hour, 20 hours later, mum passed away. Oh, good. But she was sweating. I got a fan. I asked the staff for pain relief for her. I kept uh, putting a cloth over her head just to keep her, try and keep her cool. Yeah, there was no indication. But there was, there was no indication of this because mm. before she was fine. Yeah. And then... I'd been on nights and I just heard my mum scream and doubled up in pain. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just happened so quick. Yeah. Um, obviously, they told us they may operate, but then the surgeon said no, because um, obviously she wouldn't make it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. It was, you know, thank you for sharing that with us. And now uh, the, the the difficulty you have is, as I said, that's another topic. You know, the elderly and the presentation of abdominal pain. That is one big, big problem. It's a massive problem for the surgeons and for us in the ED. It is something 
I, we've been teaching about, in fact, I know for sure that the corona has actually had a field day with you know many a trusts in this country. Because you see, the older generation or the older people, the elderly, do not have the same robust um, sense of perception, i.e., for one, they fear that they should not be expressing their emotions. So they would be in pain and they're not expressing it. That's one. Two, the, the response they have yeah. to that kind of insult is not as robust as someone who's maybe a bit younger. Yeah. Most of the time, one thing I worry about is if the pain is not commensurate with the clinical picture, I worry about something we call ischemic bowel syndrome. And most of the time, that's what they have. It's something to do with the blood supply to the bowel, which will get blocked. And therefore, if it's blocked, the, the bowel will die eventually. And most of the time, they might not even present at a way where you would think this is anything serious. And yeah. if you are actually attuned to those pitfalls, you could actually sense that because if you do a CT scan earlier on, and of course you can then intervene in time, that'd be good. The problem is most of the time it's a bit too late by the time they actually finally diagnose it. And in that case, they have something they call the possum score by the surgeons. They calculate the risk and the benefits. And if at yeah. all the risk outweighs the benefits, then there's no point in going ahead and doing it. No. You see, no. the other thing that could happen sometimes is that um, up to 80% of the 80-year-olds have something we call atrial fibrillation. It's an irregular heartbeat, and that is not picked up yeah, in time because they don't know they have it until they have like a chest infection, and that triggers yeah. it. Then it comes to the fall. So if they have it and the circulation of blood is suspect, i.e. it's not flowing as it should, therefore there's a clot, you know, that clot would sit in the bowel, you know, yeah. just that blood supply, and then it actually causes the bowel to necrose or die, and then because it causes the problem. So it's a shame that these things happen, but we have to be doing the best to minimize it. There are yeah. telltale signs, there are things we can do better, and we're hoping that with the improvement of the modern technology, we should be able to at least improve, you know, the survival rates of this, you know, dastardly uh, 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 yeah. ischemic bowel syndrome. You know, but yeah. once again, I'm sorry for mom, you know. No, and also it sent her heart rate racing. And that's it. So, 200, so, so that's what I'm saying. So possibly she had atrial fibrillation, which was undiagnosed, and that sent a clot to the, the blood vessel that supplies the bowel, and thereby the bowel died because it's not getting supplied. And that's it. You've just, you know, you've just actually confirmed what I was trying to say. That's mainly yeah. one of the things that causes their problem. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. It's no, you're been, welcome, sweet. Thank you so much thank you for very sharing. Much, that yeah. Sorry about your loss. Um, thank, thank you very you. much, Uncle Doc. Um, Doctor, today, you do you want to say something? <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, but I think um, and Dr. Kamal don't say most of the thing. I, I mean, sorry, uh, Anne, um, to hear about your loss. Thank you. Yes. Um, exactly, just as uh, what Dr. Kamal said, ischemic acute ischemic uh, um, um, bowel syndrome is is mostly it mostly end in fatal out uh, um, outcome. The outcome is mostly fatal. And mm -hmm. uh, just as they explained with the atrial fibrillation, emboli go and block all those areas that cause the blood supply for it to happen acutely. That's a classic uh, presentation. And and the pain is out of proportion to what you, you examine and you see the person, basically. So yeah. I'm so sorry to hear about that. Thank the, you. The, the other thing that why they try for say is, um, you know, uh, Artin Ruge asked about um, stones, talk mm -hmm. about stones. So I just want a clarification to people and say, you know, means in a stone way they eat by food. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that, that, yeah, yeah. Just for because, clarify no more. Because, because yeah, yeah, yeah. then when the people yeah, that yeah. go feel when they say stone, so what they, they call the that, stone, where they build really, up for letting it turn to stone. Block, not to him, not to him at all. Mm -hmm. the, the gallbladder, like how Dr. Kamara talk, it get chemical them, they can crystallize. Okay. Mm -hmm. And some people, they, if they do operation, it will get a whole a, a cup full of stones, but that stones they cause a problem. But um, it, it can get one stone, we can block the tube the way it talk about. So when they do ultrasound scan, if you get the possible way experience do the ultrasound scan, or you go see your doctor with and get the report, in know what they do. If you look the a report to and say this stone here, a day na the tube na the na the blockage, it can be small or simple one. Landing an indication where they can do immediate operation, then they wait and long. But if the stone day inside the gallbladder itself, it dance dance, they're not can do nothing about them. 
okay? And then they want the kidney, they gain the food they will they eat, you know, so much uh, calcium, uh, uric acid, all in, all in things that they can cause stone for crystallize and form. And like the kidney, you know, it's like funnel. Basically the top, the stone can dance, dance, they basically can't down no more, they play small, then the stone is able to move that, they cause the pain. And normally, you know, in surgery, if they stone the less than five millimeter, they can normally observe them, you know, need operation. And they get some kind electric shock kind of thing that they can use for this to disintegrate them. Just for clarify that side to people. Like, so not to the stone, we you they eat pan the rest or waiting not they, they go block yeah. them. Now which food says any cause them. Okay, mm -hmm. then the, the other the other the other thing is we talk about this, you know, low esophageal sphincter way, you know, Dr. Kamabi they talk about. Now the problem with him and the other sphincters them uh, in medical term, they describe it as a functional sphincter, which means not to like normally sphincter, they get like two, two va valve with the in between, where they stop the, the, the food or something for moving another way, like in the heart. You know, yeah. you get a, the, the tricuspid and the mitral valve, you get a valve where they prevent the blood from moving from one place to the other, or with the shear, like, like you get your os. You get the door with the open, with, with the blocker. And then they no get like no time like so. Now just the muscle around the the lower end, it, it become nine nine tenths enough for allow for 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 prevent food for go up. And because it's functional, it no get valve like the other side. And I make it because all them be big problems. They like how Doctor Kamado explain. And I think Mister Dabobi they ask if they do operation. Of course they can do their food duplication type of surgery within the bottom at the extreme end. Uh, and that I've possibly we get like hiatus ania, it depends on the type of hiatus ania, we didn't do the operation in the but they can left the thing in it to the last. And and now then build rough operation the way Dr. Kamabi they talk or even within they do the, the vigorous nerve within the in, in, in stop arm for reduce the acid. They need to do that now because of the medication they are we uh, um, then they give they then PPI, omiprazole and lazoprazole then. So, so just to know, and then the other thing you wait when I mention way, I just want to clarify to people them. Eh, eh, yes, some man can get like to lose intolerance, certain thing we need for digest food, the bloating we talk about. But anybody with the over the age of 850 or you know, post menopausal woman, you they get bloatiness, you belly the full, you they pass wind boku. Law will not just say in a diet. Okay, you get for see your doctor, let them check the ovaries. Okay, um, the ovaries and people then can get an uh, um, ovarian cyst, we can be cancerous, okay, we can lead to bloating. And the ov ovarian uh, 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 um, 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 cancer in presentation is very non specific. So if you are a postmenopausal woman, you don't pass menopause, it will get pasmac bloatiness. Or you get IBS symptoms, IBS, any IBS after the age of 40, you get for questioner. So you need for see your doctor, let them go examine, let them go check them properly. The reason I'm saying so, I've, ex I've diagnosed somebody with a calm, an elderly woman, they feel but bloating, bloating again, but PPI, PPI medication them, you know, you examine just by, just by history, it gives a suspicion of say there may be something else going down there. We know to not to the upper side, not to food, not to indigestion at all. We do the CA125 test, it come high. I do ultrasound scan, it come classic and complex ovarian cyst again, ovarian cancer I get. You see, so, I mean, the kitchen early, then get for um, um, diagnosis and management. So there's then few things then they, you need for keep at hand. No, no, just go around say, oh, this not reflux, this not the indigestion, other things then they again, okay, look out for. I mean, if you go see you, your GP, uh, um, you explain to them properly, you get things that we can call red flag things that we can do, we can look at for say, this not to just the ordinary, something else might be there. So now just then few things and they're just uh, think for, for, for clarify. Uh, I hope say that helped, thanks. Thank you very much, Dr. Tule. Um, Somebody has they ask as well about what they call ovarian cyst. I'm sure that it will be Another full topic for another day, but on a high level. Sorry, Mr. Wola, that I can't tell you in a bit, but on a high level, you can able to say, and uh, waiting, uh, waiting the cause of ovarian cyst, please. 
when when the when the woman every woman every month it produce eggs okay so when it produce the eggs then they the egg box we don't come on the xbox they they they, they it sometimes they form um a cyst a cyst not a fluid filled sac and sometimes it can be say it dissolves by itself so so mostly a very common with women them prior to menopause as long as they produce eggs them so that eggs then they can be later on it can disintegrate it can you know it can just dissolve and and disappear so that it can be persist okay but woman we they pass the age of menopause you know they produce eggs no nothing it can get cysto can develop sometimes it can run in a family sometimes it can just develop no more so abnormality in the formation of the of the of, of the ovaries basically they cause fluid they develop the and it develop into cancer as you say that a very long and discussion of its type you know then they then they definitely na a, a cause of worry na cancer we you need for be for be looked into and diagnosed and mostly people in the misam because the symptoms then very non-specific it can be something else and except if be say you do look for them before you for find find that out but cyst very common with woman way they under a you know which menopause it they menstruate it they produce the eggs as long as they produce the eggs then can lead to cyst we can call it a uh, physiologic cyst or simple cyst so if you go do scan you go see cyst so man you go worry so oh they don't find cyst if it's in a worrying thing now no it, it not can me say anything they depend on the size of the cyst again with the radiologist or the uh, a radiographer they report them okay depend on the size of the cyst it, 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 it can monitor and do any six month or yearly uh, a year scan for see if they progress or so if they need for do anything but any cyst where somebody we don't pass menopause that they not in need for the investigation so i hope see that um help thank you very much sir uh, Mr. Roland, you go, are you going to be with the last um, um, question we will take today? Go ahead. Well, sir. actually, just want to say thank you to everybody. This is a very, very important forum, and um, I hope we don't take it for granted. So thank you, Doc. Thank you guys for putting this up. I've learned a lot, and um, get to, I just want to say it's a key thing here about us. What we eat affects us a lot. I just want to ask the question about drinking the pH water, high pH water. Doesn't that help the alkaline water? If it does or it doesn't, that's the question I have. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, Doc? Uh, I'll be honest with you. I, I don't know much about high pH water. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I know say, God give me natural water. You know, as long as you don't get any bugs, then Panama, this is the best thing that, you know, um, mm -hmm. I don't know whether this could answer the question because Michael Jackson, when he's been there alive, you know, now the ozone layer he's been there, as far as I know. He did not breathe the kind of air, will be the breathe. Every day he go to that ozone tent. But see what he happened to him. The least expectation is that he go, mm -hmm. go get this bone in his head. And as a result, that bone may be so deep and hard that it begin go into. Now we not even drink Pepsi Cola or Coca Cola. You know, they're just water and, the, you know, the kind of water that be special water. But in the end, this can cause now you can get addiction to the point now, now that naive sanctioning die. So for me, stick to natural, as far as I know. As long as you know, say it's fine if you want, maybe put in a filter or something like that. But to say pH outweigh the natural water, I don't know much about that. And I know go for tell you say that's the case, you know, my own honest opinion that water is natural, native, and God given. And I, nothing trumps it. There's nothing better than that. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Uncle Doc. So grafting spring water, then yes. for me, I would advise people to avoid the low cost. <laughs> As if Fatima there, they avoid low cost. water. <laughs> <laughs> so um, if I'm going to thank you, thank you. I'm going to really don't do well. It goes slightly over, but I believe, say, we all don't benefit from waiting. Um, we don't discuss today. We see nobody not left. All man still there on the means say we all don't benefit. So what I'm going to do now, we'll just go around the panel quick for let everybody get their last word. We'll finish for today. See who get any last word for people in? Um now just to say thank you to Dr. to Dr. Kamala. I wish you to smile because from because I mean, if you see one say no one be giving glasses. <laughs> just to say <laughs> thank you to Dr. Kamala for the and everybody self, you know, Dr. Tugesef, Kamin, Sef Duncan, 
sort of um, highlight some of the of the of the things them as well. So now for that, we'll continue more with this program um, because a, a, again, for me, now the appreciation what they get from people them, what they what they get from the people them. For say, we continue. So it just shows for say, it really, really they they help people. You know, again, by God in power, it will go as wide, even wider than what we get now. For like other people them now all, all over the world even for like they self good benefit um from this um the, the lectures here. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Now they go to be plumber meet. Do I do I wear boss was this? You get any last one for people eh? <laughs> this is good. <Goma. laughs> Um, Dr. Kamara, Dr. Tsuwe, and everybody will participate, including um, Cecil Bunatenki. The This information has really, really go a long way. And so many things, and they will be say, apart from the locusts and the fatting, will be say, we be say, TJ talk about women and so Everything we say that too. So um, I hope say the, 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 the most important thing is where um, Dr. Tsuwe mentioned the last time, we say, we put the piece they talk about gold stone, gold blood, and the piece now they rest. Because me, I don't get that 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 impression then in Africa before I can't England say where they watch the rest, you know what's I find that sense they go now they go turn stone, they go block you <laughs> because we all don't get that kind of thing. And so I'm glad we be say Dr. Kamara, Dr. Tore don't throw light for let people they know that say nothing they call cause um gold stone and all the other ir irritation that you believe. So let we take the information as so seriously and they are my that big law continue for tuning every two weeks. This information the PCA is small, but they take away a long way. For more we don't land, say one for lose weight and no way till they eat. Me as soon as they see now, I don't slim down with me, but they don't go down. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dr. Kamara. They give me credit to work in the manner for let go Jimmy. They give me credit. Today and the information they get now, so are they really, really put into perspective apart from me being in the health sector, everything they work with, well, like they drink plenty of water, and they lose weight naturally, even without going to the gym, just walking around and doing the right thing. Always, I can always end up for serial body, a better past gently. Yes. Thank you. Thank you to the, everybody that we're tuning to the one all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Goba. Um, Dr. Tuge? Uh, yes. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for for joining. I uh, just want to throw light to uh, um, uh, Mr. Luke uh, Roland's um, till we talk about the IPH water. I agree with Dr. Kamara, uh, Kamara. The natural water, fine. But I think the 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 mechanism or the pathophysiology to it is, and I'm sure everybody I know Gaviscone and know their antacid medication. Them. So the essence of the medication they get aluminium, magnesium, sodium alginate, all them things and they mix together for increase the pH of the stomach. So when you take them, um, the acidity in the stomach, it reduce the acidity in the stomach. So now basically that the mechanism landing. So we mentioned about taking uh, the pH and basically for just really that, like how Dr. Kamal say, that as I just said, um, um, I didn't know why they, if you put on your skin, it will burn you. So you just increase the inner low as low pH. So if you increase something, you get high pH, they increase the pH of the stomach, they reduce the heartburn. So now the same mechanism where the Gaviscone, the all in medication, the Italian Gaviscone medication, in that way they, they work. But the best is the preventive, as you don't mention, and also, you know, natural water, as I can say. So thanks again, everybody for listening, stomach pain, not to a diagnosis, not a symptoms of something else happening. So uh, mostly the cause and the management depend on the cause, just uh, like how Dr. Kamar don't say. So we hope say, if you get stomach problem, you will stay in touch with your doctor or you try to find out what thing cause and it will treat them for you. And hopefully next in two weeks again, we'll get program of hope they will now at least come over and listen and if any topic they want to follow, we discuss. We're more than willing for taking that on board and give on the kind waiting until now rather than we bring topics on. So once again, thanks everybody. Uh, hope we all get a great uh, weekend. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Dr. Kama, last one for people, please. Yeah, I say I just thank you to everybody, you know, for attend and support. We let me move this thing forward, you know, to the best. Make sure so people can get for benefit from this thing that we're talking. That's it. So, 
Una no so find silence. But the art, as Doc said, you know, not just the tip of the iceberg. You know, so if you get belly art, you don't try what you get for a do. Not in no work. Please, please, please remember. You know, you get hospital road. No go to map on say for go na corner uh, to Pabu. Or go drink them bang bar, there's your good today and things and all that. <laughs> then in the day can just cause we more wahala. So do ya, mm. please, please, please. If you don't take your past them all, the kind of can put out no, then in the day there's most more thing in the ibuprofen, then you know walk. This pain don't they go on top of you, please, please, please defend hospital road. One way or the other, if not team will be good for cause you problem, but you don't catch them beforehand, I tell you what, you could benefit from that because then we will do something better. Just like how this woman and they tell you about it, mama. You know. As it is, if you don't go too far, there's not much you can do. So, like you say, a stitch in time saves nine, you know. So, do ya, not suffer in silence, you know. If anything we can do, we do, as I say, we need to get paid, but we desire for do this thing for let we help with people, and that's it. So, well, body, as we say, nine better past gentry. Thank you so much, and God bless we all. Thank you very much, Uncle Doctor. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. We'll soon again in a fortnight, if you better, if you better, they ask you. Yeah, make sure for say not to anger the kitchen. The comments that I've been doing will be very But I thank you very much. We'll see you again in a fortnight. Good night. Thank you, Uncle Doc. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Doc. Bye. 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 Bye.